Hello and welcome to the Stephen Trice Podcast, episode 34. Hey! Sort, of, sort of spat a little bit as I said 30. Oh, just nice. forget about that. Well yeah. Don't boo me, Joe. We've got Joe. spin catchers, it's fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's no. what they're made for, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, today I'm joined by David Reese. Hey! He's back. I'm back. Good to be back, lads. And he's Good cured. Yeah, yeah. I would hope so. Uh, not the, you know, the, the brain stuff. Uh, <laughs> Tom Looney's here. Hey! hey! Max Smith. Yeah. Hello hey! there. I'm cured too, baby. <laughs> and Joe McGrath. He's not cured. He's bored. Hey! <laughs> Episode 34. Hey! Just has to sit here. This week we're talking about substances. Um, I'll be real. This is a, an intervention for Joe. <laughs> <laughs> He's shooting up now. <laughs> uh, <screw> <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, we, we've been requested to talk about substances. Yeah, it's, it's, really? Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah. I mean, Lips episode 34. <laughs> <laughs> it's this or biro pens, yeah. guys. Dave. Yeah. Uh, you were gone for two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was in lockdown. Yeah. Um, uh, Jenna had the old virus, were. didn't she? Uh, a bit of a... Ugh, no, but do you know what? I didn't get one single substance. Uh, uh, symptom. symptom. <laughs> I got a substance. load of substance. <laughs> <laughs> so Sorry. It was perfect time. All the way around. Yeah. <laughs> but she lost her smell and taste. Oh. So... Um, Coming back? No, 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 not yet. Uh, she grad- she's getting whiff of things. Yeah. Uh, You're so, in yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to clean it now. No, uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> the taste's not back fully yet, uh, which is a shame because she likes baking things and she hasn't baked anything. Uh, ah. She can't taste them, which is what a selfish. On my end, she's been really uh, enjoying my chicken. Though, <laughs> <right>? <laughs> People are always focusing on the deaths and not the yeah, bacon no, when it comes yeah, to the coronavirus. It's, uh, it's what they miss out. It's what they yeah. miss out. Yeah. Obviously, that's impacting you. Yeah, exactly, yeah. and I haven't been eating properly because of it. Uh, <sighs> so it's on her. But yeah, I, uh, I got phone called a lot from Track and Trace. Yeah. They're on you. They want to know what you're doing every yeah, day. Of course, sort yeah. of thing. Well, yeah, um, well, are they doing? nice people to talk to? Do you know what? They really are. Yeah. I, I even at the last one I had, I was like, thank you very much for this, mate. It's been lovely. Um, I'm so glad what the NHS is doing. Stick with it, mate. Did, nice. you, did you start with that? I like, did. did you, I ended it, with that. Was, so you had quite a long time. Oh, it was like, well, what you've been up to? <laughs> They'd hung up at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling them all about how I took Salford City to the Champions League. Really? Was, uh, yeah, yeah, you weren't, wow. weren't overly impressed about that. No. Is that was, a FIFA thing? Yeah, FIFA right. thing. Um, on world class, which yeah. is a... High difficulty. It's, good. it's Cause, funny because uh, obviously you know our taxes have paid for that conversation. <laughs> 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 Wasted up valuable yeah. time for him. Um, I, I mentioned that I was the cure now and then, but they didn't find it funny. No, uh, no. Uh, they just said, "Right, I've got going to the next." So lots of information person. that he wasn't impressed, impressed by. by yeah. Over a long conversation. A conversation. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I haven't seen people. You're the. I need to talk to someone that's Do not Jenna. Nah, 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 nah. No, 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 no. Did you try to? <laughs> <laughs> so what's your? What are you doing after this? <laughs> <place? laughs> what's your personal I'm number? I'm bored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are we doing after this? You've been trying to get the virus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's your reason for a test today? <laughs> I'm just lonely. <laughs> Joe, are you popping bubbles in this fucking studio? Oh, oh, we all heard it. Oh, I did. I heard that pop. Joe, I, I, can't, I can't sit with this anymore. Yeah. Joe, we need an apology for last week. <laughs> Why? Are you kidding? Why? The audio went off for a good few seconds. <laughs> 20 minutes. <laughs> which, which Joe goes, something's up. <laughs> it wasn't our fucking mics, was it, Joe? <laughs> so it's not right here. The thing is, uh, so obviously, you know, I edit the podcast, like, f- do the first draft of Keep it. Working. But yeah, of yeah. course, entertaining the nation. Very yeah. small nation. <laughs> San Marino. <laughs> but they love it, all right? Yeah, 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 yeah. They do. <laughs> so the audio was missing for 20 minutes, and I'm stressed, like, what's going on? Yeah, Where is yeah. it? And in the background, you can just see Joe go, <laughs> his eyes starting back and forth and I'm like wait a minute there's something up here we did on, try guys. to deny it though just now <laughs> so it's, right. it's, it's the first time Joe's been caught on camera properly yeah. and it's damning evidence <laughs> the pressure got what, to what segment was it so you, you bring the you bring the mics down for IMAX because obviously you don't want the, right, the right loud so. sound, the, you don't want the loud sound of laughter drowning out the rest of the episode, and I guess you forget to turn it up until way into t- uh, Looney Goonie. Yeah. So oh, would you rather Steve, uh, Stephen Price? We'll do Stephen Price this week. It was during Lost Looney Goonie that he came back up. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it, during my segment, you'd zoned out so much. <laughs> <laughs> they were just checking the time. No, the thing yeah. is, what, what, what you didn't it see... It was really quiet. <laughs> <laughs> the mic's on. What you didn't see is him laughing for that 20, se- uh, 20 minutes.
minutes after IMAX. <laughs> right, Just yeah. continuous <laughs> laughter. You know, oh, so it's a great plug for the uh, the segment. And oh. we've got a great segment coming up later. Great interview. Yeah, yeah. I need to ask you two. What have you been up to? Yeah, not much. Been resting no more up. scraps. Uh, now in a while, I'm injured from the from the previous one. Scrap. Yeah. Uh, still eating, watching uh, watching World War Two in colour. That's been oh, really good. oh, very I've good. I've been watching yeah. Band of Brothers. Has anyone uh, got any cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> really, really, really interesting week. So much stuff you don't. Oh, it's brutal. Yeah. Brutal. Uh, yeah. Max, have you done anything? <laughs> uh, watch a Japanese show on Netflix. Yeah. Um, Japanese, we're in World War II. Um, yeah. Obviously, a big part of it. Yeah, I'm on yeah. the Pacific now, actually. Yeah, the Pacific. That's the following yeah. of Band of Brothers. Yeah. So, um, the show I watched had nothing to do with World War II. <laughs> <laughs> was a guy eating Thank Japanese you. food and Samurai walks in. Good stuff. What else have you been up to? Um, I went to the Lake District. <laughs> yeah. uh, right. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I was, yeah. was going to ask. It just seemed like you had something. <laughs> yeah, it was coming, but okay, uh, go on. Is that Cumbria? Yeah, 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 yeah. that way. Yeah. You read that there. Another <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah>. place. <laughs> yeah. Well, Brie, Brie, I, Brie, uh, Brie. and it doesn't look a bit like Cum. <laughs> Maybe that's where they get it from. No. Uh, they get it from somewhere else. They? <laughs> the French Penai. Uh, anyway, so I went to the Lake District, uh, specifically Ambleside. So uh, anyway, we were walking along and we saw there was a university there, the University of Cumbria. I was like, I didn't know there was one here. So uh, we went up it and it was the weirdest campus you've ever seen. It looked like it's a shed. It looked like Haven. Pretty much, the SU was like was like a tiny. Oh. Uh, and based on the decoration, it looked like a nursery. You know, like just things hung up. Yeah. <laughs> looks so small. Bunting. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, the houses look like little cottages and really a different experience. Yeah, yeah going to university there. Yeah. Can uh, you can you picture any like mad raves going on there, or do you reckon it'd be like a a very quiet sort of unique? Maybe unique maybe life? the other wild side. Yeah, I didn't yeah. get to see it. The, the only yeah. issue is is that it's on there's a lot of hills in yeah. Cumbria. So I was thinking if they. Where the, the town was, it's, it's a lower point. So to get back to your your house, it's oh, way up there. Hell. So imagine if you, <laughs> you tried to pull a girl. <laughs> you got a fucking trek halfway up. <laughs> Literally have to pull them at some point. <laughs> <laughs> but in a, uh, Dangerous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's bring back a, a favourite segment that we used to do on the podcast, uh, which is Attack of the Podcasts. Um, oh. Something oh. we haven't done for a while. Yeah. Uh, just thought I'd start with Jack, mate, because he his podcast has got a big Spotify deal. He starts, he starts every... Uh, podcast with a question about meal deals. I uh, thought uh, mm. Spotify have made a meal of that deal yeah. with him. Yeah. 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 Oh, he walked right into that. Yeah. Just think that you said it. Yeah, oh, man. Oh, God, you said what true. we're all uh, too afraid to say. So, yeah, and well, can't I, I don't say. think you all have that thought process. <laughs> yeah. Got, yeah, we all thought it. No, I thought we thinking it. I thought about it years ago. Even for the bravery to say it. To stand on that hill and just scream it to the people. <laughs> I did do that in Cumbria. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of other. <laughs> uh, yeah, the E Boys got a, a Spotify exclusive podcast. Who cares? So what, the E doesn't stand for entertainment. Like, hey! 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 We're all picking it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's it, man. My brother likes these people called Marty and Michael. Um, oh yeah. So, anything you want to say? Marty and Michael, more like Farty and Farkle. Oh, yeah. hey! Yeah, yeah, no, I do. no, That's I an original. The only Eminem I care about is uh, Marshall Mathers. Hey! Anything else? Uh, Comedy Bang Bang. Uh, Joe's apology. We, we did that. Uh, yeah. Did, did we get an apology? We, no, we didn't. Sorry, he denied it. He said, he said, I didn't do that. He said, yeah, we Rah. humiliated him, but that wasn't enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to see tears. Uh, Red no, Joe's done a lot for this podcast. Well done, Joe. Well done, Joe. Proud of you, Well done, Joe. We'll be here without it. So this is a weird thing. I went for a haircut the other day, and uh, barber, my barber, nah. <laughs> <laughs> was it, was it, was it, <laughs> <laughs> my uh, my barber asked me what aftershave I had on because I think it gave him a headache. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's it's, it's one million, and then I couldn't think of another the word that it's called, and it's one million lucky, but uh, but I couldn't think of it. I was like, why can't I think of this? I wear it every day, pretty much, uh, and it was so annoying. I was like, oh, I'm so stupid, and then. Later on, uh, the weekend, One Direction, uh, That's What Makes You Beautiful was playing, and I knew every word to it. Yeah. I didn't know I did yeah. knew that. Wow. So I'm like, what, what's my brain doing? You know, I don't know things that I should know, but... You've got a very good memory. Mm. Very but good. For, Scarily for, so. Yeah. Something I use every day. Yeah. I think my awareness is low. Hmm. Uh, uh, but like Joe when he's doing the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to it. And, uh, and last <laughs> time. Last yeah, time. sort of like Spotify when they gave Jack Mate that meal. <laughs> 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 
Um, don't worry about that because uh, my grandma once asked me what aftershave I wanted, and yeah. uh, I wanted salvage. And she was like, I've looked everywhere for so this bloody sa- salvage. Oh. And uh, it was Savage. Oh. Oh. You got me a load of salvage. Oh, salvage. No. <laughs> <laughs> a load of it in the giant sea. So, these kids. Can we sue it? Probably getting this on yourself. She's got me a roll of sausages in the air. She's like, oh, I'll do it. That's close enough. Yeah. <laughs> Just that Sonic. fifth. It smells quite yeah. nice. <laughs> Beer 52, 52. Hey. Hey, hey, Max, Tom and Dave and Joe. Thank you. How does the sound of a free case of award-winning beer sound to you? Oh, not bad, eh? Lovely. Very good. Well, that's exactly what Beer 52 are offering. All you have to do is go to www.beer52.com forward slash Stephen and cover the 5 95 postage and they'll deliver this exclusive case worth £24 right to your door. That's about, you know, four times the worth you get in there for, yeah. for yeah. just paying the delivery. Every month, they visit a different country. Hey, you, Tom? <laughs> beer 52's 150,000 strong legion of members rate the beer they receive each month, and this month, the case is a collection of the highest rated beers over the last 12 months. Oh. It's the best oh, of, so basically, the best of the best, which is why they've uh, asked this podcast to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, it's because we've got a cheap rate. Okay. Uh, <laughs> don't worry. If you don't like the dark beer, you can choose the light option. Each case also comes with the award-winning beer magazine, Ferment. Yay! 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 Yeah, as well as a tasty lad. snack to enjoy along with your beer. And if it's not for you, you can pause slash cancel any time. Oh, I love that. Just go to <laughs> www. <laughs> Beer52, that's 52.com forward slash Stephen, S-T-E-P-H-E-N, to claim your free case of eight craft beers now. Uh, thank you very much, Beer52. Well done, lads. Cheers, guys. Uh, my dad's actually uh, a subscriber now to oh, Beer52. Hey. To the Paul. Seaman Drives podcast. Paul, yeah. Paul, Paul Reese. Well done, Dad. We're proud of you. Proud of you, Paul. He's got, he sent me a photo and everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Love. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey! <laughs> 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 I'd, I'd subscribe to that, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, only fans. <laughs> Paul, yeah, if Paul wants to join only fans, <laughs> just uh, show me a cock every sort of two days. <laughs> I will pay upwards of twelve pounds a month for that. Fair Love price, it. yeah. Uh, a pound per inch. <laughs> <laughs> if it runs in the family, <laughs> we'll see. We'll yeah, see. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. New segment coming up, by the way. Stop it. <laughs> Dave shaves. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this week we're talking about substances. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. We could just say we've never done them and move on. <laughs> um, that'd be a lie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as Max has, of course, told us a great anecdote of him at uh, a festival. Yeah. <laughs> Crawling through the mud. <laughs> <laughs> one with yeah. Somebody made the reference to a baby elephant being birthed or something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, remember that. <laughs> Never forget that. Yeah. Great I think you did forget it. <laughs> <laughs> someone had slashed the back of its knees. <laughs> That's right. So half an hour later, we realised he hadn't actually had the pill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared of loud noises. I don't like Kanye West on stage. If he was, <laughs> the next day I was on a horrific gum down. Oh. Everyone else is there on the great time, just so with my beer like. <laughs> Kill me. Why the fuck did I come Why out? Why did you go back? Stephen asked. Yeah, no. I swear Stephen going, said, I you got know. the text at 10 a.m. saying, you going out again today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> I, I was in the tent just drinking all the wine. Sad. I feel horrendous. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Been at the gay village dancing all night. Yeah, man. <laughs> You're on your hands and knees there. Look at that fucking baby elephant, man. <laughs> Meaning the trunk Trunks. size, because yeah. I'm a fat old peen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy! Fuck uh, <laughs> that baby. <laughs> <laughs> Slashed the back of its knees, it's grim. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It's supposed to be a vegan. I am a vegan. Boo. Oh, Boo. Still vegan elephants, mate. Controversial vegan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love that character. I don't eat them, but I hurt them. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, alcohol, we'll start off with that. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. What's your relationship with alcohol? Are you a good drinker? I'm a great drinker. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you drink just casually in your own home, or <laughs> Ma, I've got a neutral bullet at home, yeah. Oh, yeah, and I've used it more for Bacardi than I have for fruit. <laughs> just blend it with your dinner. <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely roast of Bacardi. Mm. What's a neutral bullet? Like a, like a smoothie. Oh, like, that's right. blender, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah. I make cocktails in my neutral bullet. I just drink beer fifty two. So hey, yeah, hey. Uh, I can have a casual drink now at home. I guess yeah, it's, it's more when I. I wouldn't drink spirits at home, just on my own. Mm. Um, I'll have a gin, like, for fancy enough. it. Yeah, if that's yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, I'm a, if I'm like a girly mood, with yeah. Jenna. Tough game of Salford. Just... <laughs> oh, stretching after that. Yeah. 
But um, I have a beer like if the footy's on. Yeah. I'm watching the footy or. Or you're on the phone to the track and trade. Tra- <laughs> 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 Are you drinking as well? Give <laughs> yeah, me your address, I'll send you beer 52 <laughs> round. Oh, mate. A few bottles of champagne after the cup final. <laughs> <laughs> don't go, don't go. Don't go. Just, uh, one more, one more. How's uh, things, Dave? Not good. <laughs> not good. <laughs> In a dark place. It's been, a while. it's been a while. What's your worst drink? I, I I cannot do shots now. Recently in Amsterdam, I was having a nice day. Yeah. A few beers. Oh yeah. And then just later on, I just got a bit silly, and I did a few shots. I uh, don't really remember much of it, but it just turned me. Yeah. And I was throwing up. I felt awful. Really hungover well the next day. Of something else. The mixtures. Yeah. <laughs> what was it? Liquor before beer. Uh, drink before grass. Put you in Liquor grass. before beer. Not in this place. <laughs> <fire, laughs> uh, uh. That's Jenna's rule. <laughs> <laughs> I hate. Which one is it? Uh, can't drink whiskey. It's too strong for me. You did very get much a, a basic bitch. You got an absinthe <laughs> cocktail when I was out with you recently, and you really struggled with that. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't yeah. do well. But I can drink that more than uh, whiskey. I love whiskey, but whiskey does not love me. So oh, you're you sort of I'm Tommy bit, Shelby, are yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a bit of a <laughs> What's your favourite whiskey, Dave? Jack Daniels, but that's not really a whiskey, is it? Oh, no, it's definitely a whiskey. It's Glen Fidget. Glen Glen Fidget. Glen <laughs> Glen, <laughs> oh, is that your nuts on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was at the market before. <laughs> Glen Got your sausages. Got your that Glen Fidget, you like. <laughs> or one of those Glen Fidget. <laughs> Glenfidget.com Jameson or Jameson I love oh, Irish yeah. whiskey I, yeah, Irish ja- whiskey is yeah, the so bomb Jameson's like what's it called with a coffee uh, oh, Irish, Irish coffee, coffee. Yeah. Yeah. that's my favourite um, coffee my coffee yeah, yeah, coffee. yeah, yeah. or whiskey. nicest coffee is your name is <laughs> Uh, uh, also sponsored by ISIS this week. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, great friends of the great podcast. Of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say that when we get to IMAX. <laughs> I'll know that a bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, so, so I was chatting with ISIS this week. <laughs> <laughs> me, me and Abu Bakar al Baghdadi, great friends. <laughs> oh, great, no, great friends. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what about drugs? I'm mm. talking the dank weed. Have you ever tried it? Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lay it on the table, yeah. Dave. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Don't. Um, <laughs> this is the result. <laughs> I, uh, I smoked it in Amsterdam. Oh, right. Yeah, man, yeah. Because I tried to buy one of those cookies, like the edibles, and I'm pretty sure it was just fake because yeah. it was from oh, the shop. Are. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sweet treat, though. <laughs> yeah. It tasted as shit. I find the edibles, right, uh, all over the house. Ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Can't move for them. They're ridiculous strength-wise, and edibles compared to smoking is ridiculous. Mm. So go into edible first thing. It's like it's a bad idea, to be uh, fair. So it's kind of good mm. that you've got totally dummied out there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially because it doesn't hit you straight away, does it? No, it takes... So you'll think like, that, oh, I'm fine, and exactly. you'll finish off, you know, a whole cheesecake. Mm. Oh. And then just <laughs> suddenly... <laughs> weed <you're>... cheesecake. <laughs> a whole pot of jelly con garlic. <laughs> <laughs> Realised I was eating the wrong one. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> we knew it should burn next An entire goulash. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's my secret recipe. <laughs> yeah. I tried the weakest, like, sativa. Yeah, sure. Uh, so I think it was like the, the lowest of the low mm. and that, that sent me because um, I don't think I have much tolerance for you know, mm. drinking or smoking oh. but uh, yeah you've got, you got to practice man just keep doing it <laughs> that's, <again>. exactly. <laughs> that's I, what I've done <laughs> and with a blocked nose I wasn't taking it in properly apparently oh. <laughs> so I wasn't going to use my mouth you know, just, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's not right I've been snorting this weed all night man <laughs> why is yeah. the cookie crumbs all over your ass? <laughs> 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 we <Weeds are possible. laughs> I smoked it and I really wasn't taking it in and then uh, eventually learned how to do it and I was just coughing all over the place oh, yeah, it makes you yeah. cough yeah yeah, I, I, yeah. makes me cough because I don't, I don't smoke often yeah um, so when I do coughing fits it's embarrassing you know when you're around seasoned smokers oh, it's everyone yeah, does it it's like riding a bike yeah <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you you got to get past you falling off which you do in it's yeah, yeah, yeah 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 so that's why I made the reference. Oh, Yay. nice. Yeah, I did that. Yes, I, uh, I did it's a comedy so, course. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, that was a fluke. But, uh, <laughs> uh, I'll edit that better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice one, cheers. Yeah. Dave, uh, <laughs> what, yeah. have you smoked anything other than the weakest sativa like I have? Um, you have the levels. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've never done that weak uh, shit. <laughs> where I was at uni, uh, we didn't smoke it all the time. Uh, my mum watches this. So. <laughs> <laughs> just most of the yeah, time. We're just most yeah. of the yeah, time. Yeah, we, uh, we tried different strands. Yeah. Realised which one's the strongest and which blow your socks off. Which is that? And just stop um, it no, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I found Lemon Haze, it's called. Uh, oh, this, yeah. Uh, bloody... Sounds tasty. It does. It does. I like this. Knocks your socks off. But to be fair, if you just before you if you smoke it just before you're getting in bed, then blowing your socks off sort of saves you a job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you have a Spotify deal? No. <laughs> it blows my mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, so you you probably uh, smoked it when you recently went to Amsterdam. I did mix it with beer. Uh, oh, 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 so very nice. Horrible. You're sick. Horrible. Oh, really bad. But it was the shots, things. I was drinking half pints, mm. and I was being really careful drinking water as well. And I don't know what happened. It's just mixture. Everything. I don't know what in. happened. Yeah. See, so have you ever whited? I know you have. Yeah, big yeah. time. In, 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 in my flat in first year. Oh yeah. 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 Oh yeah. And then you smoked the- a spliff with uh, a mitre with John. Oh, and then you were just in, John, in his yeah. room classic. on the floor in the fetal position. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, it's, I am really yeah. irritated when people were coming in. <laughs> no, that was, that was because you came in and started whacking me with a sausage yeah, yeah. pillow. <laughs> Are you More fucking that. kidding? <laughs> no, no, no. That wasn't you came me. in. I was having a sweet nap. Yeah, sweet John, nap John you said to me, pits. take my floor, do what you will with it. And I was like, yeah, cheers. I wake oh, up to Tom and a, gr- like a group of people, at least five people, which is a group, uh, whacking me with a sausage <laughs> that Tom sleeps with in between his legs. <laughs> and I'm getting whacked over. It's, not, it's, just, it's just a Even pillow. Even if I, I mean, wasn't drunk or, it's never in you know, my legs. mad high. <laughs> Sometimes in between my legs. Um, um, I believe Max is. Yeah, yeah. No, but I don't think, I think he was... Um, I remember it very no, no, well. He was all, yeah, I think a few times I cracked the door open and you were like, oh... Yeah, I was Please sick. Please leave me. <laughs> Please help me, I was saying. So I saw that as an invitation. <laughs> <laughs> to work me with your sausage. <laughs> Oh, we all had a ba- like in my old house we had a basement <laughs> Sorry, mate. Sorry. and that's oh, yeah. where we used to go and smoke like down there and I remember one time we all went out and everyone come back and everyone whited in this basement everyone was just <laughs> holding buckets <laughs> <laughs> how's everyone feeling <laughs> 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 and anyone got here to give me some water someone else is nah I can't even move <laughs> so you all didn't have like food poison <laughs> <laughs> it's just sat there did you, did you make dinner that night <laughs> <laughs> Well, some I waited. I was uh, I was at a friend's house oh, yeah. doing some of the dank herb, as you will. <laughs> I was in a I was in a room and I whitey. So I throw up in my mouth and my cheeks are bursting. Oh yeah. So it's yeah. whitey just and it's when gone you too throw far. up. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I throw up in my mouth and I've put my hand over my mouth, so oh, nothing's no. coming out. I run to the toilet, kick open the door, and then I throw up again. And the, the, the vomit comes out of my mouth and sprays around where my hand is. So my, the top of my face is covered in sick. Oh. All down there is covered in sick. The whole room's covered in sick and like in a very tight circle. Nuns in the toilet. But your lips are perfect. And <laughs> you go back in. I got my smooches ready. I'm, you know like how Batman has that one part of his suit that isn't covered in his mouth? That was my, the only part. my three-piece suit is <laughs> <laughs> Still looking <laughs> sharp. Hands <laughs> dry as Where were we, baby? Hired this from Eminence. <laughs> Take it back to that. Literal acid burns on you. <laughs> Oh. Oh, oh, we mate. can have fun though now. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah, it. Right after it after the surgery. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. Uh, nice. Let's hop into a quick Stephen Lies. Yeah. Stephen Lies. Stephen, 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 Stephen Lies. Lies. So Dave, Stephen. you are our detective. Oh, oh, nice, uh, one. nice one. And this week we decided to write them down. Okay. Yeah, make it look more professional. Max, Maximodo. The Japanese made me bath, bro. Oh. Tom. When I was 17, I sold ecstasy to Eamon Holmes. <laughs> and Steve. I had my drink spiked at a family barbecue. Ooh. Okay, Max, would you like to elaborate? When I was at university mm-hmm. uh, a couple of years ago, um, I was uh, in, indulged in a classic bong, and we were watching a show, Gaki no Batsu, Classic Japanese show. Right. Uh, at which point I throw up into the bong and then I'm about to light it oh, again no. and smoke sick yeah, water, yeah. which luckily I didn't. Do you know, I've been there been there with yeah. a nature documentary, oh. funny enough. Just saw the colours and it sent me. Yeah, <laughs> crazy. So, um, yeah. yeah, relatable. Okay, Tom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, ecstasy to Eamon Holmes. Yes, not directly. So <laughs> when I was kind of 16, 17, 18, first years ago into town, we used to go to quite nice places. Right. Um, kind of <laughs> looking back, kind of posy kind of bars. <laughs> so you know, At 16? You'd, well, you'd often get celebrities there and stuff. And on this <laughs> night in question, uh, okay. Eamon Holmes, among some other people, were in this... Uh, it's on... It it's on John Dalton Street. It's got like a terrace. Would they it's have quite... presenters and sixteen-year-olds? No, 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 no. I, I used to dress some nice clothes. Me and my friends. We, we, worlds yeah, we, collide we, in this we, street. We, we put a shirt on, you know, and try and. <laughs> what? Kind of... Just the, the world elite. Yeah. The world elite. Yeah, yeah. Prince you know Andrew it is. was there. You know it is. It's yeah, wasn't forty-two. Yeah. <laughs> this wasn't forty-two. Okay. Well, one of the, one of the guys I was out with uh, was a bit of a, a <laughs> bit of a dealer, uh, yeah, yeah. if you like. Um, Philip Schofield. Yeah. I had bought some ecstasy from him. Yeah. Um, Ooh, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Just when you're in a group. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. but I later on decided you know, I, I didn't want this ecstasy. Um, so I, I, you had GCSEs to remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I got a refund basically. Uh, got a refund for drugs. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was it was the same night, same person. <laughs> And he was known kind of amongst the industry. He used to sell to like industry staff, so oh, he was known okay. in the bar and that. He then went on and uh, sold uh, ecstasy to Eamon Holmes. Right. Uh, okay. It was, I guess I was part of the transaxion uh, without directly yeah, being yeah, the one. Yeah, 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 I suppose. Yeah. Through hands and then hand it. Back you know, it's to... a punchy title. Yeah. Uh, part yeah. of the supply <laughs> chain. Um, uh, okay, Steve. Yeah. Elaborate. Uh, it was a family reunion yep, in okay. August. Okay. Uh, did it every year. So I was about 18, 19, and I was there, I was sat with my cousin, he's a couple of years older than me, mm. and uh, I wasn't drinking alcoholic drinks, I was just drinking, it was Coke. And I was sat with my nan, um, my cousin, <laughs> at the head table, yeah, <laughs> having a fucking wild time. Disaster happens. And, uh, the drug in question, yeah. um, it might have been Rennie, something like Rennie's, what right. Max has to yeah, yeah. to help you with your, your acid reflux or whatever. Mm. Uh, and so my cousin saw them by yeah. my which family member it was, an old man. Uh, and so I was chatting to my nan, having a great conversation. Uh, and then my cousin had put, it was either one or two in my drink. Rest of the day went fine. Yeah. I drank my drink. And then about half an hour into the journey home, I felt my stomach just go. Ooh. So we went to a petrol station. To get something. Well, let's we'll go to the toilet. Right, uh, gotcha, gotcha. And then we'll just purchase more Rennie. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I went for a poo, and it was just it was just water oh, just came yeah. gushing out. Uh, so I was I was pooing. I was thinking that isn't normal. You know, yeah. I've just had a, a lovely coke and a, a sweet chicken meal. Uh, <laughs> and so I was I was just shitting water for ages. And then uh, probably about a few weeks later, cousin messaged me. She's going, how's your ass? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have you been uh, franked by step <laughs> um, And then he, he admitted to spiking me. Never got him back, and I love a prank. <laughs> he's on the list. Yeah, the list. he is. He's on the list. On the list. Um, right, okay. Well, I'm going to go straight out off the bat go and on. say, uh, Tom's yours is a lie. Without Bold a decision. Of a doubt. Bold decision. Without a shadow of a doubt. Um, and just because of a relatability... I'm going to go with Max Mojo Smith. You're telling the truth. Well Look at it. Well done. Yes. Was yours again. Threw up in a bong and I almost, you know. Yeah, chunked it. Gacky no me, me and Tom just got asked today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's my first time reading that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking first time reading that. <laughs> Did you make it up for each other? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I like that. When I was 17, I sold ecstasy to aim and fucking home. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you took that route. No. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Almost got me. Oh, <laughs> They've all been there. Yeah, yeah. I could have uh, gone worse. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, other drugs. Ever done a balloon? Oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. A complete waste of money and time. You might as well just get up out of a hot bath quick. Yeah, yeah stand up. <laughs> that lasts longer. But you have done. <laughs> I have done. Uh, my dad told me to take a mobile phone into the bathroom in case uh, I was in the house on my own. I got too quickly and collapsed. I don't know why a phone would help. <laughs> I think he was trying to trick me. <laughs> I did poppers. I guess that's similar. Sniff. Similar, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so people were doing them, um, like, you could get them, used to be able to get them at Affleck and stuff uh, when I was a shopping still can. 16 yeah, yeah. and that, so waste, waste of time. Just yeah. made your head feel like it was under pressure. Yeah, and it hurts uh, after a while. It's unnecessary, completely unnecessary. You know, mm. I had better time without it. Uh, I had a very good time with balloons yeah. um, because I was mixing, drinking. It wasn't a very good idea at the time. No. 
Because when I look back on it, I go, fucking hell, that was dangerous. Now I realise, oh, it was actually really good fun at the time. Yeah. But um, don't do it, kids. Uh, basically, <laughs> we, we drink, you smoke, we, and you do it at the same time. It's just a whole different experience. Did you see anything? I uh, Many things. Yeah. <laughs> many things. I thought I saw the beanstalk going through my, uh, my chimney. Never do it again. Here's, here's something I've put. Fake drugs. I've, uh, I've seen people get sold fake drugs at festivals. It happens a lot. <laughs> and it's... Uh, it's just very funny because the dealers just do it and then just go and you'll yeah. never find them again. Yeah. Yeah. And they charge loads. I was having a drink and then I saw something fizzing in it. I was like, oh God, fucking hell. And then for five minutes I was just sat there going, oh God, I can feel it, I can feel it. <laughs> and then somebody told me, yeah, that's, that's not a drug at all. <laughs> yeah. You're just panicking. <laughs> This, this is what the family do, and it's it's just yeah, a coke. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then then as soon as I got told that, it was just oh I'm fine. So yeah, it's weird. Weird. Vietnam weird. flashbacks of the yeah. family barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's looking for their arm. And Nan telling me about line dancing. <laughs> <laughs> and I was line dancing. What I think I do with drug dealers yeah. is, is I'm, I'm just so polite with them. I can't think what to compare it to. I used to be bad with like homeless people if they asked for money. Yeah. Mm. I often wouldn't have it, so I'd just ignore them. Oh, you'd be awful, we'd... wouldn't you? You would mm. yeah, you would shout at them and nope. you know, run and rave <laughs> and <laughs> kick their money. You, it's, over. Not, it's not my fault you're on the street. <laughs> yeah. you know. You've got yeah. more fucking money than yeah. I do. Yeah. 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 How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> do you know who the hell I am? <laughs> oh no, you don't because you don't have a phone or YouTube. <laughs> Great. <Where? laughs> <laughs> they had a rascal t shirt on. <laughs> uh, oh. But the drug dealers would go, oh, do, you want, do you want uh, this or that? I'd go, oh, fine, thank you. And I'd be so polite. I think these people are breaking the law. Mm. Yeah. You know. I think at the end of the day, though, they're just people doing a job. Yep. Getting money. In. That's it. That's it's a very, very important part of the economy. Like, you know, if you, you were to stop yeah. drugs, then that's well, billions they, taken out yeah. overnight. Like, Shouldn't they just legalise weed, though? Yeah. I feel like that's one that. Well, if you, I don't if know it's if... a naturally occurring plant. Uh, so in America, there's a rule where if the amount of tax an area gets in is over a certain amount, mm. the the overspill of money yeah. goes back into that you get state. That. Uh, Colorado had it as well. After they legalised it, they got a tax surplus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and they they've got billions now. Yeah. It's insane, just because of madness. Yeah. 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 Just uh, yeah, just do it. I think it's up to me, Max. Come on, Boris. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was. Come on, Steve. Sort come your on. priorities out. Yeah, come on, Boris. Yeah. Yeah. Boris, Boris, Boris. Great. <laughs> uh, <laughs> cut up and reuse it somewhere else. <laughs> I saw uh, the the greatest thing I've ever seen with a drug dealer. He gave me a business card. Oh, I've had a few uh, business yeah, cards. Yeah, yeah, and, it's, yeah, yeah. and I still remember like, it. Doctor Sweets. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Sweets. Yeah. Yeah. In Fallowfield. Yeah. When yeah. we was walking to the podcast, Shout out to Dr. Sweets. Yeah. <laughs> I had one that said, "Great friend of the podcast." <laughs> Great friend. Uh, I had one that said, "Call Sean from dusk till dawn." Oh, <laughs> that's, that's good. Nice. Yeah, that's very good. He's, he's relayed that of someone else. Yeah. 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 Hey, mum, <laughs> did you call Sean? No. no, no. Ever, ever done a class A, a hard drug? Uh, I done mushrooms yeah. in uh, Amsterdam. Wow, how was that? One of the best things I've ever done in my whole entire life. It, where it's legal out there, I was just full sod it. I, I, yeah. when, in, yeah. when in Rome, yeah. when in Rome, when in Amsterdam, nice. you got yeah, to do yeah. it, give it a try. I was like, I'll never do it over here because like, don't know what it's like over here. No, you, they sell by enough. the counter over there. What, all you're doing is you're just laughing for at least about four hours straight. God. That's all it is. And you see things, but it is fantastic. <laughs> Funny things? He- yeah, yeah, yeah. Hilarious. <laughs> I thought I saw a bald bulldog. Which is very surprising because I like bulldogs. I also thought I saw you know one of the people that go like that. A flasher. A flasher. <laughs> yeah. But he had tambourines. <laughs> you know one of them. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen yeah. him around. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, they were selling tambourines. Did, um, did it make a noise when he went like that? It was ching. Nice. But, uh, <laughs> Catching. But, uh, yeah. Was, it, was yeah. that just to jazz up his penis? You know, I don't to, know. to add a little bit of showbiz to <laughs> flashing his dong. It was all glittered. Yeah. 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 That... What's What's the thing where you put around a Christmas tree? Tinsel. 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 Nice. Yeah. 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 Tinsel. Tinsel. <laughs> if you did that as a flasher, because you've made it a bit of a show, yeah, you that's could it. just say it's like performing arts. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And technically, you are. You would be covered, wouldn't you? I mean, mm. a tinsel would probably. Obscure, obscure most it. of it from view. Oh, don't know about me. Really big bauble, yeah? That's what the doctors call it. It's the biggest bauble. 
My uh, my boiler's broken at the moment, so I've had. Mm. Oh, I've been I've cold. A, I no, I've had to have a bath using the kettle. Uh, oh. I don't usually have baths, just have showers. <laughs> but I realised I was stretching my balls. <laughs> 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 So it's like a bat wing. <laughs> Pull it out. Wow. <laughs> and then, You've been parachuting off your roof. <laughs> gliding. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Could it um, work? <laughs> <laughs> Am I mad? <laughs> so we've even been thinking. <laughs> but then if you did that, realistically, the fright would tighten your ball sack over. Yeah. <laughs> and then you'd be No, no, it. no. <laughs> not again. I'd have, to, I'd have to wear tinsel so I'm not flashing. <laughs> There's too much going on yeah, here, really. It's a whole ordeal. It's not a simple undertaking. It's not, it's not. Anyway, back from my ball sack. Uh, here's what I get a lot. People say that I look stoned uh, in videos. Yeah. I just think I'm tired or I mm. just look thick. You work really hard. Mm. That's it. <laughs> ten, ten <lines>. Non-stop, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Just your mind just keeps going and going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah. Key worker. Yeah, man. Everyone thinks I'm monged out because I've got wonky eyes. Yeah. So I was yeah. always like, hey, fuck you. Oh, man, yeah. <laughs> people accuse me of having the munchies all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Which people are When like? you say accused, <laughs> <laughs> like, I shame you, sir. <laughs> That's a dangerous action. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> oh, God. Are you really serious? It's a disease on the streets. But I'd, I'd smoke weed again, yeah. but I'd never do a class A drug. Yeah, I uh, I I've probably told. I think I've told this. I snorted it by accident and rolled in dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> the dog shit was on purpose. <laughs> that was before. <laughs> I did that. Sorry, and went, I, I need accidentally a rolled in dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> I need a bump after this one. <laughs> <laughs> Just get anything up my nose. Uh, how can you accidentally snort? Uh, so, so I, <laughs> the substance. I don't know if I've said this, but I, I did this stupid thing at school where you'd crush up uh, love Sweet. hearts and yeah, you'd snort yeah, it. And you'd yeah, be like, hey, I'm cool, I'm cool, mate. Don't People accuse like me of having the munchies. <laughs> I'm snorting it, not eating it, okay? Just went with one of those ones. It goes in a different area. <laughs> so I was at a party and somebody had done like a line on the table. How the fuck is he getting invited to parties? He snorts, he snorts refreshers and sweets. Everyone loved it, it was a great bit. I was, I was there dancing. They all felt really bad after the pirate peeped him back. Uh, so I went to a party and there was a line of cocaine on the table, which, mm. being a stupid kid, I thought, oh, it's crushed up, whatever. So I snorted it. Turned yeah. out it was like, you know... Cocaine. You kind of take that into your adult life, haven't you? Just seeing drugs on the side and thinking, I'll have that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll take yeah. that. That's mine. Yeah. Like, if, being if, young. It's, if it's lying there, I'll take it. Yeah, man. Dios mío. I'm talking about drugs. Yeah, man. <laughs> Not pugs. <laughs> um, don't oh, fuck sake. pugs, okay? okay? Unless it's consensual. Frogs, not fucking pugs. Tom, ever did a hard drug? No, I'm not really interested. I've started to doubt that Eamon Holmes story now. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. The Eamon um, Holmes story was a lie. Did you just Ruthie gave yeah. it to yeah. me? <laughs> uh, Ruthie, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Joe, McCrub. Joe, that's not on, mate. No. Naughty. <laughs> so would you do DMT then, where you have this sort of out-of-body experience? I don't know, maybe, maybe. Yeah, I in, think in a safe environment. Yeah, it's all got to be where you feel in control, I mm, guess. Yeah. Because when I uh, I smoked the ganja, I was in the bath and I uh, mm. sort of came out of my. Uh, my you have your mobile phone with you. I put it in the bath in uh, <laughs> one of the wacky moments I am. <laughs> FaceTime with my dad. <laughs> Didn't hang up for some reason. <laughs> uh, make sure you're safe, son. <laughs> <laughs> Camera was the wrong way round. <laughs> That's me, boy. <laughs> I think. <laughs> but, Stop stretching your balls out. <laughs> I can fly, Dad. I can fly. Can't see past the bauble. <laughs> you lit up like a Christmas tree. Man. <laughs> it's like a Christmas tree. <laughs> oh, oh, God. This is fantastic. Instead of a star at the top, it's just a little bit of piss. <laughs> you know what? Above that, a true star. Yeah. Hey, oh. <laughs> He's yeah. You've got to Deserving it. of <laughs> Spotify deal. Oh, yeah. please. They all are. Um, uh, we, we should uh, yeah, we should get one of those. Yeah, I reckon so. <laughs> Send an email, Max. <laughs> Not that this next bit's going to take away from that. Sorry. No, uh, that's right. I, uh, I got told by my, my girlfriend that I eat too many multivitamins. <laughs> she went, it's actually really dangerous, but they taste so sweet. They and they're do. Just like, mm. They're just like little treats. What was it that you ate too much of in... Pretty uni, much everything. <laughs> no, 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 no. In, in uh, second year, 
you weren't eating much at all. You were just like kind of celery, hummus, hummus. Yeah, and you ate cheese. carrots, didn't you? You got weight, and I didn't got your really hands, orange hands, orange hands from eating too many carrots? Oh, they were they were ridiculous. I've Frightening seen the video. Me yeah, I ate too many rennies. Yeah. Oh, mate. I've just bought Been another there. 500. Yeah. <laughs> really? 15 quid? Are you addicted to rennies or do you need them every day? I need them. Yeah, I think I've done day. a lot of damage to my body. I accidentally punched a, a drug dealer Oh, uh, at a festival. But I reached my arm out and I just knocked him in the head. And apparently he was looking at me like, what are you doing? Did you step to him after that? Oh, no, I was just in my own little world. <laughs> Listen here, Coke boy. <laughs> Coke boy. <laughs> uh, my mate, when we, we first went to Kavos, uh, but when we very first arrived, which was about five minutes in, Only right he, he, asked for a du- <laughs> he asked for a double balloon. Although I turned up every day, and I'm spelling that T O R N T. T pains in the room. I just realised they played Cha Cha Slide. Every night in the camera, it really took away that everyone got into it as well. It's like being in a kids' club. It sounds like what's uh, the Phoenix Nights? Oh, it sounds yeah, like one yeah. of those. Sort of stuff. What's that other one where you have to sit on the floor and do that? Oh, in ropes. Sad your head. Sad your head. Now time for fine. <laughs> Uh, what's that one? Hey, the Mar- 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 my hey, Mar- 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 Apple crumble. <laughs> uh, so wow! What? 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 Apple I love apple crumble. Why did you look at Max when you said apple crumble? <laughs> what did you go? Ooh, fatty! <laughs> fatty one cake! Lift and deal! What the fuck is that? You're juggling my belly! No, he's got, he's oh. got apple crumble, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for, those, for those looking at, uh, listening at home, Dave's sort of raising each hand yeah. as if he's got a pair of them. Uh, scales, oh. as in what drug dealers use. Back to the topic. <laughs> really yeah, well I, done. There. The drug dealing videos on YouTube that we've done, uh, they always go down really well. We do, yeah. and it sort of makes you question how you can get away with it when you've got you know a bag yeah. of fake cocaine, uh, mm. and it, you know YouTube just allows it. Yeah, maybe it's I don't know. It's part of your kind of gimmick, if you like. It's so blatantly fake. Yeah, man. You know, yeah. And the Coke can. So yeah, yeah. Did there, Pass it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah do you remember? That's true, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's parody, yeah. isn't it? You know? yeah. Exactly, exactly. Just, holding drama. up a fucking mirror. I was trying to be like Stephen Graham and do some really good acting yeah. in those sketches. But... Well, no, no. You, you, you can have great acting <laughs> and still hold up a mirror. Yeah, yeah you can. Yeah, yeah, you can. Exactly. Satire, exactly. isn't it? You know, just yeah. Thanks, yeah. guys. Yeah. Really great acting. Stop. Stop. <laughs> What's, uh, what's the craziest way you've taken drugs? Uh, up the bum. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I'm joking. My cock isn't a drug day. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm addicted to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like I've got I've got such an addictive personality that oh, I don't right. want to I don't want to go near drugs because if that's me, I'm scuppered. <laughs> I'll just stick to sweet treats. Yeah. Things. <laughs> I, I read in the news that. Uh, Somebody had been crushed to death. Oh no! In a, in a, in a <laughs> you snorted. He <laughs> <laughs> was grinding the wrong thing. Oh, I just saw it on the side and thought, well, you know, and it's going. <laughs> was that a morgue? You know. You were in the See, morgue. visiting in the morgue. any number of characters. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Probably even the story. Um, so I would read about somebody getting crushed to death in one of those garbage compactors. Yeah. And uh, after work. Um, we had a we had a little spliff because it was a long day. Yeah. yeah. And uh, as you I was walking out. home, the bin men were out. <laughs> so I saw this thing coming towards me. I'm getting really paranoid, yeah. so I just leg it home, scream, not screaming. <laughs> like, oh no! <laughs> it's coming to kill me. <laughs> the one day you wear a black bin bag to <laughs> Tied around with a rope. <laughs> Seems I'm watching me. I had one story about the time I was uh, dragged up some stairs and thrown out onto the street oh. for doing drugs in oh, yeah. a in uh, a bar in the Northern Quarter. Oh, wow. Name and shame. Apotheca. Um, Screw you. Apotheca. More yeah. like apology. Yeah, out yeah, to Tom. Well, it was the door staff. <laughs> I don't know. They'd obviously received reports, and yeah. I was mid flow having a wee downstairs. And he just rapping. Come, he <laughs> burst in the cubicle, grabs me. Like, my penis is still out, oh. so I had to hurriedly try and put it away. Yeah. Just dragged me up the stairs. I was a bit drunk, but then like fucking dragged me up the stairs and threw me out onto the street and was like, I'm going to tell everyone on every bar on the street what you've been up to. Your night's <laughs> over, sunshine. <laughs> I was like, what? What's going on here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. My friends haven't even turned up yet. I was waiting for them. You no. ever seen Chicken Run? No. Right, we were all over the flat. I denied that. <laughs> <laughs> we was all doing uh, pills in our. Cause the first time we all wanted to do like something like that. So we stayed in their flat and we were playing loud music. It must have been like one in the morning. And a security card come up. And you know, in the chicken run where the bloke opens the gate and he goes, 
all the chickens look at like that, yeah. all wide eyed. <laughs> we all going like that, all the chins going like that. So. Yeah. <laughs> can, you, can you turn the music down? Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> that, was one, that was one of the weirdest experiences. That's cute. You, was, do, um, you do a good girl. Yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Practice Practice makes perfect. perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's harder to get your job straight. <laughs> <laughs> feel like the Hulk. Like, oh, I'm, I'm always, always going. <laughs> it's my secret. <laughs> now it's time for Imax. So Imax this week is uh, me interviewing someone Ooh, who shock. was in a fresh <laughs> new movie. Okay. Yeah? Uh, we're interviewing um, Ewan McGregor. I wonder what fresh new movie Ewan McGregor's done. So I remember seeing him years ago in Star Wars. Wars. Same, same. <laughs> Trainspotting. Uh, Pet yeah. Cemetery. Uh, Trainspotting. Obi Wan. Trainspotting 2. Trainspotting 1. Uh. <laughs> Let, let's hear IMAX. <laughs> Welcome to the IMAX experience. Enjoy the show. Oh, Oops. IMAX is in shattered. <laughs> I've received a plethora of emails from the King of Vatican City, the Pope, who has demanded I return to my roots and review the freshest, newest movies and stop resurrecting Hitler and Jimmy Savile from hell. <laughs> God's sake. And the sake of my soul, Joe. Luckily for me, the Pope has granted me an audience with an actor from his favourite movie, Train Spotting. That's right, I'm talking you and McGregor. Hey, how do you feel, Joe? Out my head. Ha, you should be fine. All you need to do is hit a little record button. Even you can't mess that up. Shit, here he comes. Hello there. Hello there. Stealing my catchphrase. <laughs> Not cool. Oh, it's you. Yeah. Film reviewer extraordinaire, and my trusty sidekick. Hello! <laughs> my name's Joe. Sorry about him, Ewan. He's been hitting the source today. Anyway, let's not waste any more time on this tedious setup. Shall we record the interview? Accurate use of the word. Yes. Right, yes. hit play, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake! What cop out? Oh, no, it's that. It's that. still going. Wow, what an interview! <laughs> you really messed up there, Ewan. The arrogance. Shut it, Ewan. You've given me just what I need to bring you and your little faith down. I, IMAX, God of fresh new movie reviews, oh. will stand alone on Mount Olympus as the one true God. Show him, Joe. Replay the interview. <laughs> Show him what we have. I hope you like it. <laughs> Just play the interview back. Don't leave the little man waiting. Well, um... Don't be embarrassed, Joe. As long as you did your job, it'll be fine. And you definitely did your job. You're a pro. It didn't kind of go very well. I think I did okay, Joe. Oh, God. You didn't record it. Is that a bit... Shit. It's the simplest job in the world, Joe. I want a monkey could do your job. Let's do it again. I don't think Ewan would want to give up Vatican secrets again, Joe. I thought you were a pro at this stuff. This stuff being hitting a button. I'm not very good at it. Gee, I wish you told me that earlier. Anyway, what do you think of this episode of IMAX? You smashed it. Damn straight. And now to end it, why don't you do what you're best at and hit record, Joe? Fantastic. Well Best one yet. Oh. Uh, can't help but feel there's a few digs at Joe there. Yeah. There were. Want, I did notice that. Do you two want to go out and have a straightener? <coughs> nice boxes. Oh, oh. oh hi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> steady, steady. Hello there. All right, mate. It's I. Me! Ladies and gentlemen, it's Terence Cash. Hey, hey, hey baby! Hey, I thought he might be. I thought he should have recognised should have recognised the voice. Yeah, so hey, haircut, it's, Terence. It's, it's missing it. Yeah, <laughs> miss, yeah. Missing it. Oh, <laughs> uh, my throat is beyond fucked. Right. <laughs> okay. Call me one of your classic porny stars, because <laughs> this thing's been worked at non-stop. Oh, Terence Gash. Yeah. Very yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> TC, what are you up to? Well... You've probably seen the news. About COVID. COVID? I had no idea. Okay. No idea. I don't read the news. You did last I've time been you walking around Jack the Lord. streets. It's fine. No one cares. Yeah. <coughs>
That's not a real cough. That was fake. <laughs> For emphasis. Nice. Right. Good stuff. So Good. it seems like you're doing satire, but yet you don't watch the news and don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't even know what satire is, baby. I'm a businessman. Yeah. And yeah. the only thing I care about are the three B's of business. Go on. Go on. Bye. How are you spelling bye? B E Y. <laughs> Become a seller, <laughs> as in a seller of goods and services, and bung it in your cellar. What was the last one? Bung it in your cellar. Oh, right. He said right. bugger. <laughs> I'd never bugger anyone in my cellar. I use the bedroom. Look, uh, Is that the third B? Bedroom. Be- bugger in the bedroom. <laughs> so, Terence, first question. Obviously, B E Y. I'm a seller, not a speller. Join the How's club. How's the potato business going? Awful. Oh, sorry. <laughs> People I tell you that you're all full of spuds. <laughs> I love this guy. Thanks. thanks he cracks thanks, me guy. up. No, I had a cellar full of spuds. Yeah. They turn into what I can only assume is potato sludge. Right. Yeah. Which is a thick paste with the consistency of mash. But nice. tastes of rot. Okay, it's not ideal. It shouldn't be the consistency of mash. <laughs> no one. Unless somebody's been mashing away in my basement. Anyway, I have decided to move on to what I can only assume is alcohol selling. Right? Oh, yeah? Right, okay. You know, I'm a businessman, and yeah. what they say in business school which I assume is a place you can go, yeah, yeah, you're <laughs> is right. buy low, sell high. Nice. Right. I've got a basement full of mash. And I've got bottles, empty bottles, <laughs> discarded all around my home. Nice. <laughs> nice. Because I've been drinking non-stop <laughs> since the lockdown. Didn't you have some bad news about your, your company, Terry? Because uh, I did read about this in the local news. Yeah. Which brings me back served. to my original point. <laughs> the newspapers, a.k.a. The Daily Mail. Nice. Because uh, you probably don't know this, but I have a Daily Mail. Yeah. Nice. Every yeah, day yeah. I'm being a male. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he did that. It's crazy. <laughs> so, uh, if you're not passed out drunk. <laughs> <laughs> For 24 hours, baby. Hey, oh, yeah. Hey, Terrence, what, what's more rotten, you or your potatoes? <laughs> Well, my insides are very <laughs> rotten. I've got about four weeks left to live. Anyway, back to my original this is point. How you spend it. <laughs> Great news! I've got a new shop. Oh, well done! Everyone loves my new shop. Yeah, it's called. You're assuming. So I've I hand out questionnaires after every sale. It's called. It's called Tesco. After me, <laughs> Terence, Tez. Yeah? People will come into my shop and buy my wares. Yeah? Not my underwears. <laughs> you don't wear any, do you? No, not at Can all. Go see your spuds. Got a potato sack around my midriff. <laughs> it's like a loincloth from Tarzan. Oh. Anyway, great company. Until the fat cats at the top of Tesco, which is apparently a shop. I don't know. You don't I, read the news. I don't read the news. I get my information from smoke signals. Like a Native American. It's amazing how well informed you are. <laughs> All things considered. So I've got this this shop full of vodka, which I make from my potato mash. Yeah. Mmm. Tasty. Lovely. Yeah. And then the fat cats from Tesco say, close up shop, baby. Give us all your profits, baby, and your wares. And I've got nothing, except I still have some lovely sweet body. They didn't want that. They didn't want that. Oh, Apparently it's good. poison and kills people. Yeah. I don't Allegedly. care. So, Myths. So you've been drinking a lot of it. I've been drinking a lot, and I'm not dead yet. No. I do cough up blood every week. You said you got a month to live. Did I? Yep. No, I can't. I could have said that. Terry, are you drunk now? We, we probably don't have it recorded, but you definitely said <laughs> Silence, boys. I've come on to the Stephen Tries podcast because I have a van of vodka just sitting around in my home somewhere. And if you want a piece of that action, just give me a call on a number which would hopefully be at the bottom of the screen. Terence, you've come on, told us that you're going to die in a month. Yeah. You've been sued by Tesco. Sure. And you're an alcoholic. Sure. And that was all a ploy to plug in you vodka. Vat of vodka. So you're not you've not been sued by Tesco. Oh, I've been sued, baby. <laughs> you're not dying. I am dying, baby, but I'm a businessman through and through. I've got a vat of vodka to get rid of. Right. Do you want it? I I, I don't want it, sorry. It, it sounds like it's making you very ill. Yeah. No takers? I'm sorry. Good. Sorry, Terry, to feel like this is yeah. you know, 
This is goodbye. I would say maybe <laughs> just just pour it away. Maybe draw a line under your dad's inheritance. Life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> say, I messed up there and start afresh. And do what, baby? Uh, invest in something else, you know, Bitcoin. Just enjoy the few weeks you've got left. Yeah. I hear paint selling. Yeah. Paint? Your, your vodka's probably paint stripper if you want paint to Paint stripper, that. baby. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go to the paint stripper store. <laughs> or should I say the stripper store Oy! where strippers go and buy things. And paint them. Goodbye, Terence. <laughs> See you, Tez. Weird man. A very odd man. Not he's, well. He's not well at all. <laughs> <laughs> he looks really bad. He looks so thin. <laughs> Pale. Uh, he's lost the, so list, much weight. For the listeners at home, they're being ironic. <laughs> oh. um, <laughs> should we move on to Stephen Price? Stephen Price! Stephen Price! Stephen, Stephen, Stephen Price! Stephen Price. Okay. Stephen Price. Last week, you may remember it didn't happen. I did notice that, actually. I didn't uh, connect the dots, to be fair. Yeah, man. Oh, mate, just in time for Fortune Teller. Yeah. Oh, very exciting. Got a bit of blood on your nose. Yeah. Joe yeah. bit you up pretty bad, yeah? You biff me proper. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here is Fortune Teller. Oh. Ooh. What's that coming over? There's too many men, too many men. 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 Too So guys, if you know all four artists and songs, tweet it, and you could win uh, this piece of paper, oh. which today I wrote my truth on. We haven't even given out the past prizes. So I feel no. like <laughs> Do you know where the past prizes are? They're in my room. Nice. <laughs> Just waiting to be shipped out. What about a PlayStation 5? I don't even have one myself, oh, mate. Oh, right. You could buy one for someone, though. Yeah? That'd I couldn't. Nice. They would be lovely. Literally none. I've looked. You don't think I've looked? <laughs> Guys, if we smash 10 likes on this video, Max is going to get you a PS5. <laughs> Who? <laughs> everyone, everyone that likes everyone. it. Uh, you don't... like it? Go yourself a PS5. Uh, One more incentive you need. Let's move on to... A Dave Raves. It's Dave Raves. Raves. Gotta get those Dave's Raves. He's angry. Hey. Oh, oh. I've, I've had a lot of time to think on, uh, over these past two weeks yeah. uh, that I've mm. been locked away. I was laying in my bed the other day, nice. well, not the, during the two weeks, and yeah, man. I was thinking in my head, I was like, oh, it's hot in here, isn't it? It's, hot, it's really hot in here. I, I need to turn. In bed, I was thinking in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I was like, oh, it must be the radiator. And then, and then another thing popped into my head, thinking, what come first, the word radiate or radiator? I'd say it's the word radiate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. radiate. <laughs> I think a lot of words like derived from like Latin and stuff. So yeah. to radiate, um, you know, radiation, heat. radiation doesn't even need thing. to be heat. Yeah. yeah. When Tom was a kid, all everyone spoke was Latin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh, hey. yeah, 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 yeah. Don't use it. You lose oh, it. Though, man. Man. Yeah, that's it. That's oh, it. Man. Don't remember a word of it. I was at work, like putting away the crisps because I'm yeah. a shop <laughs> <Some> now. <laughs> nice. And, and I, thought, I thought what came for <laughs> the crisp or the cheese and onion or something. <laughs> and I, I, I had a, a, like a, a epiphany. Oh. Um, oh. So I was reading the back of the crisp and um, it had a date on it. And all these dates had something familiar. They all ended on a Saturday. Um, a lot of Dave's you? employers, yeah. he will do some work in the future. <laughs> <laughs> He's walking around with a fucking calendar. <laughs> just get, what's going on here? <laughs> Let's check these crit. Yeah. Uh, I guess it's set to the end of the week, and so yeah. if your calendar, some calendars start on a Sunday, so, don't they? Exactly. So Saturday's Saturday, 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 all of them. Yeah. Monday. And then I was thinking in my head whilst I was get, uh, work again, these people kept giving me money, and I was like, oh right, uh, oh. that's that's a that's a one pound. That's a. Do you work on the tills? A, a, sometimes. Yeah. And then I had another epiphany. I've thought and I've figured out that no number has the letter B in it up to a billion. He's right. There's one for you. That's pretty good, yeah, to be fair. Um, Best Dave Raves yet. Yeah. Also, uh, are there other, are there a, other letters? A doesn't come into it for a while, is that right? Uh, 11. Go, he's got me there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a, a doesn't come into it for... No. And A's a vowel. That's well, I guess, I... you know, uh, 101. 1,000, I think, might be good. Yeah. Thousand, you yeah. don't have and one, though. No, no, 101. You, know? yeah, you do, like, in language right you do, yeah. Yeah, I suppose. Thank you very much, Dave. You're welcome. You're welcome. 
Well done. Now it's time for the most bonkers boy in all of oh, Benidorm. Oh, oh. It's Tom Looney. Sure. He resents this segment. <laughs> and oh, this week I put together uh, some of the world's most dangerous drugs that have <gasps> such frightening consequences that you have to question why Would you do we do even it? partake in this. First drug is crocodile, which oh. is a mm. desamorphine. Apparently, uh, there's been a lot of documentaries about this. I've it's, seen, uh, yeah, I've yeah, heard of this. In Russia. So mm. I think it is available over the counter. Um, but <coughs> most most of the time it's made, you know, kind of in, in labs and stuff kind mm. of illegally. If you inject it and it goes into just the, you know, anywhere but the vein, it can start flesh eating. God. Can you imagine if the film was actually the crocodile hunter? <laughs> That'd be amazing. Yeah. It's half a load of needles. Yeah, that's not a syringe. <laughs> that's not a syringe. <laughs> I think it gets its name because uh, it's like it turns. You can turn your skin into like scales. Scales. Wow. And that of a crocodile before eventually this, the rot just rots all together. Oh, like, there's pictures of people just like holding their arm up, but it's just like bone. It's just it's not nice. Oh. How do they hold their arm up if there's no muscle? Oh, it's there. It's kind of there. <laughs> skin's gone, mate. Oh, you there. Skin's oh, gone. You there, mate. Ooh. Picture will be in the description. <laughs> I think you're so clever. <laughs> just, yeah. just came here and just knocked out your hands. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. It's uh, like you're holding a pie. Yeah. yeah, just, yeah. I'm happy. Yeah, man. I like pies. Have you heard of Devil's <laughs> Breath? Nah, I can't yeah. say I have. This is what you've got now, mate. Devil's Breath. Yeah. It's uh, good, uh, school. good stuff. Um, I don't know, you may have heard of this in another <clears throat> referred to elsewhere. It's the one that you blow into. It comes from oh, Colombia. Oh, God, yeah. The yeah. one that you blow into people's faces and it's said that they lose all sense of self. Zombie, it's like a they zombie turn into a zombie and it can last for like 24 hours. So obviously it's, it's, it doesn't always result in having someone that you can really control. Yeah. People can pass out, people have died, but people have been known to go and empty their bank accounts and just willingly give up their possessions. Mm. Just did to Jeff Bezos. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a specific warning when you go to Colombia. It's more than ever, just don't, don't ever accept any food you know from, mm. from like strangers yes. not that you would yeah, yeah. scary stuff uh, licking toads did, you did day. that for a while didn't you? <laughs> lick, lick toads they upgraded to yeah. human in and around the river of well, oh, or hog weed toads. around this. I've been dicking toads <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, the Colorado uh, river frog is the one that this is most associated with mm. so like it, it's venom I don't know how much of a deterrent it is because predators will still eat the frog but like dogs eat the frog they'll die so like uh, raccoons have a really clever way of kind of they've had to learn to kind of drag them out of the water backwards and eat them from the belly forwards so they don't you know get the yeah. contaminated bit. But basically, if you lick them, it can cause like a, it's like acid. Yeah. But Cold. but it's also got a toxin in there that they secrete, and so you know if you lick the wrong frog, you can puke blood and even die. So Just stop yeah. licking frogs, guys. Yeah. Dicey dicey stuff. Um, do we want a couple more? Last one. Last, last one. one. Okay. Last one. Okay, right, I've got two. Got two. That oh, last oh, one. Two. Oh, every time. Oh, oh, okay, uh, Jenkum. This oh. was made popular in Zambia. Yeah, it's quite a poor country. Mm -hmm. um, but you go to the sewer pipes, you'd scrape away the shit, the brown sludge that's left uh, secretion, force it into a bottle, tap it down so there's enough space for methane to form, and you just put like a, a bag or a balloon over the top of it and leave it to ferment for about a week, mm. and then you inhale. Oh. And it causes a like yeah, it can cause a high. Uh, it's <coughs> sniffed and apparently makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. I don't know how you'd get past the smell. You just fall in love. Some good ones. I'm going to be leaving off, but you know. Well done, Tom Looney. Some, that was insane. Yeah. yeah. I have you re those. really don't like this segment, do you? <laughs> <laughs> like it's just. We've got to keep it tight at this point. That's fine. That's fine. You know. Would you rather? Oh. Uh, would you rather have the ability to see 10 minutes into the future or 150 years into the future? Have we got time? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just being sore, but it's fine. Yes. Go on. Uh, 10 minutes. Gambling. Easy. True oh, that. Yeah. So True 150 that. years. All you'd get from 150 years is... is more interesting. It? it would, mm. but here's, here's a question. Steel inventions from right? 100 years mm. from now. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> but then would you, would you not change the time... Ooh, continue. Don't bother, don't bother me. That is, that I, is think, a good one. I think it's too far in the distance. If you tell people about things, they'll be like, they won't. Yeah, but yeah, no, are you really, well, yeah. yeah, what you need is, is concrete plans. <laughs> you wouldn't, yeah, you wouldn't do this to tell people. Yeah. I, mm. I, I'd do this, as you said, this is a great yeah. money making scheme. Yeah. 150 years is too far ahead, I think. Like that film with a, it's a shit film, shit concept, but the guy who, the, the Beatles never, were never a thing. Yes, oh, yes, yeah, 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 ye
big music trend. Big music star. But do you Just reckon Skrillex, the... Skrillex would have been good back in the Beatles so time? Good I'm sure it's worth. I'm sure you could monetize it. Mm. Yeah, I'd, I'd go ten minutes. Ten minutes is ten great minutes, for gambling. Yeah. 150 yeah. years, inventions maybe, but as you said, you'd need to see the plans yeah. and then memorize those plans. I was on 150 at first when I first heard the question. Then you as could soon be as the, the uh, gambling one came out, I was like, 150 I guess, years, you could be the guy that invented the flying car. True. I guess the, the risk of 150 years as well is knowing that, imagine knowing you're going to die in. Yeah, two that months. would be shit. You look yeah. 150 years and it's just an apocalyptic <laughs> wasteland. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine if you look at it 10 minutes and it's. <laughs> <laughs> Still I'm dead. Ten minutes. <laughs> You're not here in ten minutes. No. You might as well put it all on black. <laughs> yeah. Would you rather travel the world for free for a year or have fifty thousand dollars to spend however you please? That's, That's a really good pounds. question. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I'm not really bothered about Asia, so I'll probably just take fifty grand. And uh, nobody clipped that first bit. Of <laughs> <laughs> what I meant is, I don't, I don't plan on visiting. I'm Asia. not really bothered about <laughs> Asia. Boris! <laughs> 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 and that was the Stephen Trash podcast. <laughs> I, just, I just meant like travelling wise, it just yeah. doesn't uh, suit me. Like. I think it's with 50 grand, I could probably set myself up quite well. It's about 38. Uh, no, I'd travel the world for free for a year. I think I'd do that. Although not during Covid. Right now I'd take <laughs> the money, I can invest it in something. But then, if it was from now, you'd, you'd get the European Championships. you just True. go... But I might have to oh, keep self isolating after I, you know, fourteen days each time, ten days it'll add up. Oh yeah. Spent half the year sat in a hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. I'm so glad I turned down that fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah. I'm living. But you, Max. Take the money. Yeah. Invest heavily. Yeah. <laughs> heavily. Yeah. <laughs> yeah non-stop investments, baby. <laughs> Woo! Give it to Terence Cash. Bring him back. Yeah. <laughs> Who? Life-saving treatment. Never yeah. met him. Uh, You'd juice. really get on. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Steve? Take, uh, travel. <laughs> travel. I think take this this whole situation out of the question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then I'd travel. Yeah, then I'd travel. Yeah. Fifty grand. Okay. Wouldn't go far. Now it's time for. Put it to the max. Put it to the max. To the max. Keep Put it, it to, to the max. max. Also, thank you very much to Audio Always for having us here today. Yeah. Thank yeah. You so much. Lovely room. Right. Well Audio. I like the little we'll tables. Have a, we'll have a link got. in the description on both the cool. audio platform and YouTube. Yeah. Uh, hey, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching the podcast for a few months now, and I've noticed that when someone is away, a male fills the gap. Ooh. This has led to the podcast becoming a bit of a sausage fest, Ooh. excluding Max's luscious looks. Mm. Locks. So, locks. <laughs> locks. <laughs> That's locks. a brain, that is. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, for, no, take it. for female take it. viewers, like myself, I feel as though uh, the feminine view can sometimes go amiss. Would you ever consider having a woman on the podcast, assuming that you know one? Many thanks, all the best. That's from Lou. Oh, Lou. Hi, Lou. Well done, Lou. Lou's a... <laughs> hey, Lou. <laughs> uh, poo, Lou. What's your problem, Lou? <laughs> well, she explained it. Um, we don't know any women. Not that, yeah. Not I think that if you watch the Friends episode, yeah. I have no female friends. <laughs> well, not, not lots, anyway. Mm. There's doubts as to whether Jenna's even real. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's so true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Never, I, never I, seen I, her. I saw her, but she looks very different from the pictures. So yeah. I think there's like a... Uh, uh, like a catfish kind of thing yeah. going on there. Yeah. Who'd be the ideal female to have on? Melon Sue. Cat Dealey. Melon that's Sue. two. Yeah. That's just one. Cat Dealey. Yeah. She used to deal to her as well. <laughs> Funny story, actually. <laughs> um, First name that comes to my head is Tess Daly. This group came together by chance, you know. We weren't yeah. just like, oh, no females allowed kind of thing. So the Even fact the that we're sketches. four four males, you know, there's a chemistry here. Joe, you know, five. five. We'll get a female on one day. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, uh, we've had Hollywood. What's the next one, please, Tom? Hi, lads. Uh, I hope you are all good. I'm a big fan of the pod and would like to hear any advice you might have regarding talking to girls. As boss players yourselves, I'm 18 now and I've been invited to a few house parties where some girls from another school have been there. They've gone well so far considering the fact that I'm a naturally quiet person and I get anxious meeting new people and haven't really had much experience. I was wondering whether you had any pointers on how to approach people for conversations that will keep them going. Not necessarily just for girls, but for anyone in general. As someone who struggles with interacting with people, I found listening to your podcast listening to podcasts like yours to be very helpful and any other advice would be appreciated so what I thought for this was we could maybe role play it mm. we could have uh, Dave do you want to be a hot girl yeah I'll be I'll, uh-huh. yeah I'll be I'll be another hot girl mm. uh, you be the guy nah mate yeah, yeah, yeah you're, Tom, much, you be you're the guy. much better improvising no no Max can be Max can be a cool bloke I'll be, be a, a jock I'm friend. your dad yeah. I'll come go, to the party with you. Oh, I don't go, know, on, go, on, go on Tom take it away 
Uh, so I was talking to Brian the other day and yeah. um, you wouldn't believe what he just said. It was like, oh my God, you got the perfect Hey, tip. girls. Uh, <laughs> you too, though. <laughs> you right there, honey. Oh, that's <laughs> me, boy. Get in there, son. <laughs> Chat away with the girls, <laughs> lad. Sorry, Dan. Um, you all you're right? Oh, oh, top marks, boy. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable with this for case. No. <laughs> I'm his daddy. <laughs> Could you lose your ugly friend, please? <laughs> Can you shut your fucking face, yeah? Oh, my God. My taxes you pay for your like fucking that. house here, mate. You better not be yeah? talking to I me. I fucked your mum. Right. I know your mum. She's got the need on the road. I've been bagging her. Get this from bin bag week. out of my fucking throat. I've been funeral, mate. Oh, my God. It's keep going. <laughs> so I hope that helps with you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, bring your dad. Based out on my mum. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> based out on my dad. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> It's time for the final question. <laughs> it's the final question. <laughs> if you could take a pill which gives you the ability to fully utilise your your brain, uh, you know, like limitless, limitless uh, would you take it? So basically, you can do things at uh, Sherlock, basically. Yeah. Uh, right. You can see a lot of the world. You'd be using parts of your brain that humans don't use. tend to use Genius. and would make you super, super intelligent. Genius. Genius, mm. yeah. But then you have to keep on taking it. You have to keep on taking it and you kind of lose a bit of your humanity. Yeah. You feel disconnected from others because you, you you feel above them because in a way, you are. I don't think I'd take it just because, although it'd be nice to know the name of my aftershave you know, just like that. <laughs> I, uh, I don't feel like I'd be... Well, like, you say you have to keep taking it. You know, it might be, yeah. you know, it might be fun just for a night. You know, just... Uh, Boys get together. Think, I think you have to keep. Yeah, you, you, that's, you the, that's the downside to it. You have to, because like, after you've stopped, you're oh. gonna die. I yeah, suppose. other people will find out, no doubt. Right. Well, I guess you've only really described dangerous side effects. Uh, effects that aren't. But then you are a genius as well. No, I know, which is kind of appealing. I'd, I'd kind of like you that. No doubt. Yeah, you know, rise up in the world. The side effects, you know, it sounds like I'm going to go insane and kill myself. Yeah. Joe, would you take it and keep the mics on? <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, I feel as though I've like tapped into something. <laughs> I can tell when these go off now. <laughs> you just feel it. Can't describe it. Can't describe it. <laughs> See, I've done all right being thick as shit in life, so uh, I'll. Uh, I'll go with no. You made a lot of money out of it. Exactly. Yeah. I've done all right. Oh, I do. I do. I stack shelves for a living, and work behind a counter. So, being smart ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> Give it time, Dave. Yeah. Over time, I'll be there. I'll catch up with you. <laughs> um, thank you very much for watching the Stephen Tries podcast. Uh, Today I was joined by Max Smith, Tom Looney. David Reese. Oh, thank you. Good to be back. And Joe McGrath. Probably can't even hear this. Enjoy it now because we won't hear it back. It's like it never happens, everyone. Yes, bye. Nice one. Oh yeah, B fifty two and audio always. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Really, really. Thanks. Thanks a lot.